Mariner 2 was launched on August 27, 1962 at 6.53 a.m. UTC from Launch Complex 12 at Cape Canaveral. Its mission was to fly by Venus and conduct the first successful planetary exploration mission, with Venera 1 having failed to maintain communication after week in space the previous year. Mariner 2 was identical to Mariner 1, which had been lost due to a guidance failure and range safety abort almost five minutes after launch. Mariner 2's rocket to orbit was an Atlas LV-3 with an Agena B upper stage. The Agena B would relight in order to send the probe to Venus. At a launch mass of 202.8 kilograms, Mariner was heavier than many American early probes to the moon, but the energy requirement to reach Venus is actually not that much more than what is required to get to the moon. It had a 1 meter diameter hexagonal bus that would see continued use and adaptation for many other exploration missions, solar panels that would supply 220 watts at Venus, antennas, and the standard array of scientific instruments, radiometers, a magnetometer, a micrometeorite detector, and others. The mass of all the instruments combined was 18 kilograms. One item it did not carry was a camera. Cameras would be carried on all subsequent Mariner missions except for Mariner 5. The probe's launch and transfer to Venus were completed successfully despite a failure of one of the Atlas verniers at booster engine separation, with it going back and forth causing a strong roll. It eventually stopped the oscillation because the loose connection that caused the problem was set back into position by the roll. Along the way, Mariner 2 had an issue with its active attitude control system, but that was resolved and occurred after a successful mid-course adjustment. It also had a loss of power from a solar panel requiring a low power mode until the probe reached Venus, where it could operate with just one of its two solar panels. Ultimately, Mariner 2 fulfilled its mission and became the first probe to successfully encounter another planet. It passed by Venus at a distance of 34,773 kilometers on December 14, 1962. It made temperature scans of Venus, confirming that its surface was very hot or its clouds were really thick. In fact, both cases proved true. It also measured the solar wind and radiation levels in the vicinity of Venus. Aside from its first as a planetary probe, Mariner 2 was also significant in being the first successful Mariner-type probe, leading to six other successful Mariner program missions out of a total of ten. The others conducted Venus and Mars flybys, Mariner 9 made it into Mars orbit and will probably fall into Mars atmosphere around 2022, and Mariner 10 was the first to use a gravitational slingshot, flying by Venus to become the first probe to reach Mercury. Ranger probes to the moon shared the same bus as Mariner 2, the Mariner-Jupiter-Saturn missions were turned into the Voyager probes, the Viking orbiter for Mars was a modified Mariner 9. Magellan, Galileo, and Cassini-Huygens are also considered part of the Mariner line of probes being evolved from the Mariner bus, making it easily the most successful family of exploration missions.